In this video, I'll show you guys how to set up custom URLs when you're developing on your local computer. So you'll see in this browser, I just have FF in the um, URL part here. And in another browser tab here, I have just have materials. And this is really useful because um, when you're developing for your sites, um, there could be some problems with the path. For example, if your website is abc.com, and then you have this one in a folder. Um, some of those paths that are working in your local computer, they might not work on the um, online site. So um, it's just handy to have these um, just not in a directory. And the way that this is done is using virtual hosts. So I'll just show you how this is done. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your C drive or whatever is the main drive um, on your computer and then go into the Windows folder and then from Windows, um, drill down into the System32 folder. And then inside System32, um, open up the Drivers folder, and then go into the Etsy folder. And then you'll see um, one file here called Hosts. And just right-click on that and edit that um, with, the, with whatever um, text editor you want. And you'll see um, at the bottom here, if we'll make this bigger, um, you'll see I have a local host, and then I have FF, and I have Materials. And these are the um, three virtual hosts that I have set up um, for this computer right now. If you're using a bundle like XAMPP, you'll probably al already see the uh, local host one here. So we just want to add our own um, custom URLs um, that we'll use for when we're developing. So you can see I've added these two here. So um, just add in as many as you want right there um, for the different sites that you work on. And then the next thing you want to do is go over to your XAMPP folder. So let's just open this up again. And I'm just going to go over to my um, XAMPP folder here. You can see in the path, um, it's just C colon um, XAMPP right there. And from here, we're going to click on Apache. And then from Apache, um, go into conf here, I believe. And then click on the extra folder. And then you'll see um, one file here called hcpd-vhost.conf. And then just go to edit that in your text editor. And then what we want to do is we want to scroll down to the bottom here and you're just going to be adding in the um, the virtual host that um, you want to add. So you'll see the first one I have here um, is the local host one. And then after that, I have another virtual host set up. Um, let's just make it bigger so you can um, see all the text here. We have virtual host and then um, an asterisk. And then we put in the document root. So um, for this uh, FF1, you'll see in my uh, browser here. So you'll see if I go into my browser here, um, one of the tabs is just FF, and we can see that here. Uh, we have a server name, FF, and then the document root is going to point to where is the um, root folder where you're hosting the files for that. And that's basically all you have to do, vir virtual host, asterisk, the document root, and then the server name. And then um, after that, we put in the directory. That path is the same as the document root. And then under that, we have uh, order, allow, comma, deny. Um, these can be customized depending on um, what sort of permissions you want to um, give to the folder. And then have allow from all. And if you have more websites you're working on, all you need to do is just set up more virtual hosts. So here again, virtual host uh, space asterisk. And then we have the path and then the server name materials. Um, again, if I uh, go over here, you'll see one of the tabs is all I've put here is materials. And uh, that site is coming up just fine there. And the last thing you want to do is you'll want to uh, restart your Apache. So I just have my um, XM control panel here. And I'll just click to stop Apache server and then to restart it. 